In 2015, Richard Curtis, an archaeologist, made a surprising discovery at an archaeological site in South Africa. Initially thinking it was a baboon fragment, Curtis handed the bone fragment to his colleagues, Jesse Martin and Angeline Lees, for further examination. Little did they know that this seemingly insignificant find would completely revolutionize our understanding of human evolution. This two million year old fossil would challenge everything we knew about our human ancestors. Watch the video till the end, as we have a surprise for you at the end of the video. The researchers from Latrobe University in Melbourne, Australia, were excavating a site called the Dremel in Polokwane. The Dremel is a highly significant archaeological site known for its exceptional examples of human ancestors from deep time. Located approximately 25 miles north of Johannesburg, the Dremel caves have eroded over time but remain an important attraction for paleontologists. In fact, these caves were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999 and earned the title of Cradle of Humankind. The late Ander Kaiser, a distinguished South African paleontologist, discovered the site in 1992, stretching over an area of around 180 square miles. The limestone caves have yielded remarkable fossils. However, let's delve into an earlier discovery at the Dremel site to explore the origins of our own species, Homo sapiens. In 1994, Kaiser unearthed two fossil skulls of a human precursor named Paranthropus robustus, designated as DNH7, a female, and PNH8, a male. Kaiser nicknamed them Eurydice and Orpheus after ill-fated lovers in Greek mythology. These skulls, estimated to be between 1.5 and 2 million years old, were considered some of the oldest hominin specimens ever found. It's important to note that hominin refers to the group of animals that includes all extinct human species and modern humans. Paranthropus, an extinct species that lived around 2 million years ago, was not a direct ancestor of modern humans, but rather closely related to our early ancestors. Eurydice remains at Dremel consisted of a partial skull and teeth, while only a jawbone with teeth remained of Orpheus. Kaiser vividly described the moment of discovery, explaining how he carefully brushed away the soil to reveal the outlines of these beautifully preserved fossils. Though Eurydice and Orpheus likely never knew each other, their remains were washed down from upper cave deposits and presented an intriguing story of a possible love across generations. Paranthropus holds great significance in understanding our own species' evolution as it closely aligns with the origins of Homo sapiens. Moreover, Paranthropus, including Eurydice and Orpheus, were direct competitors with our earliest ancestors, particularly Homo erectus. Homo erectus is a crucial species in the human evolutionary narrative. With a body structure resembling ours, Homo erectus had relatively long legs in proportion to their torsos, indicating a transition from arboreal to terrestrial life. These early human predecessors were likely adept runners, which would have been advantageous for hunting. Additionally, Homo erectus possessed a larger brain case that increased over time. They were skilled toolmakers, with evidence of their mastery in using fire and living in organized groups capable of coordinated hunting and gathering. While the debate regarding the development of speech in Homo erectus continues, their existence on Earth for approximately 2 million years far surpasses our mere 300,000 years. Interestingly, the first Homo erectus remains were not discovered in Africa, but on the island of Java in modern-day Indonesia in the early 1890s. Dubbed Java Man, this fossil specimen was dated to be between 700,000 and 1 million years old. However, this finding sparked controversy as Frenchman Eugène Dubois, who led the team, claimed it as a transitional species between apes and humans, while others disagreed. Furthermore, Java has yielded Homo erectus fossils of more recent ages, with the Solomon fossils found between 108,000 and 116,000 years old. These discoveries suggested the coexistence of different human species, potentially alongside our own. 
The lineage of human evolution remains a topic of intense debate, with consensus pointing to Homo erectus as a pivotal species marking the beginning of our genus. Homo erectus not only played a crucial role in our evolutionary story, but also expanded its geographic reach beyond Africa, with fossils found as far as Spain and Java. African Homo erectus individuals are believed to be the ancestors of various human species, including Neanderthals and modern humans. In conclusion, Richard Curtis' 2015 discovery of a bone fragment in South Africa disrupted our understanding of human evolution. This two million year old fossil challenged our knowledge of human ancestors and prompted a revaluation of our origins. The Dremel site in Poliquane with its exceptional examples of human ancestors, has played a significant role in shaping our understanding of our species' evolution. Through discoveries like Paranthropus robustus and Homo erectus, we have gained insights into the complex web of human evolution, although debates and mysteries still persist in uncovering the complete story of our origins. Although it has not been confirmed, initially scientists believed that Sola man was a subspecies of Homo sapiens, However, this was later proven to be incorrect. The most recent specimens of Homo erectus were found in Java, leaving the question of when this ancient human species first appeared. One significant find with early dates is Turkana boy, discovered near Kenya's Lake Turkana. This fossil remains the most complete skeleton of Homo erectus ever found. In 1984, researcher Kamoya Kemu came across Turkana boy's bones on the banks of the Nariakadam River. This individual lived approximately 1.5 to 1.6 million years ago, between 7 and 11 years of age at the time of death. This discovery revealed that Homo erectus existed much earlier than our own species. Archaeologists continue to find more specimens, constantly pushing back the earliest known dates of Homo erectus. Returning to the team excavating at the Dremel site in South Africa, the first discovery was a small bone fragment initially thought to be from a baboon. However, Stephanie Baker from the University of Johannesburg had doubts about this theory. Further examination revealed that the fragments belonged to Homo erectus. Jess Martin and Angeline Lees from Latrobe University took on the task of assembling the 150 bone fragments. After meticulous work and cleaning, they successfully reconstructed the skull which had a crest of bone and confirmed it belonged to Homo erectus. The DNH-134 skull from Dremel is the oldest known specimen of Homo erectus, dating between 1.95 and over 2 million years old. Previously, the oldest specimen was found in Georgia and dated to around 1.8 million years old. This finding indicates that Homo erectus and another ancient human species Paranthropus robustus, coexisted in the same environment around two million years ago. Australopithecus was the third species living in southern Africa during that time. Homo erectus is considered a significant ancient ancestor of Homo sapiens, and this discovery confirms the Dremel site's importance as the cradle of humanity. Professor Andy Harris, head of the research team, expressed excitement about the discovery and its significance to the story of human evolution. Homo erectus lived on Earth for approximately two million years, much longer than Homo sapiens. The fascination with human evolution lies in its connection to every person alive today. While Homo sapiens may currently be more abundant, only time will tell if we will endure as long as Homo erectus did. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and get a chance to win a wonderful coffee cup. And remember to like and share.